Hey everyone, sorry I haven't been posting videos up too much lately. My hard drive and my laptop has been having some issues and I think it's on its last legs. So with that in mind, I got a bit of an upgrade for it today. I'm going to throw in a Samsung SSD. Um, it should be much faster than the hybrid drive that's in there right now. And I'm going to show, show you how to do it. What I'm going to need is the drive itself. I need it in enclosure for the transfer process and maybe use an old drive, which it seems like I probably can't in this case. And I'm going to also need a way to take off the case and open up the computer itself. All right, let's open up the drive. I didn't know too much about SSDs before I really went and did some research recently. All I knew was that, well, they're much more reliable than regular hard drives because regular hard drives, traditional ones, they have a bunch of platters stacked up back to back to back to back inside. They're separated maybe about one or two microns apart. And that's a lot of moving parts. It takes a while for the computer itself to find certain files. And, you know, they're kind of fragile due to the way that they're assembled. SSDs, they work more like, say, a memory card that you use in your or, um, phone or in your camera. There's no moving parts inside. Files are located almost instantaneously. Some comparisons, it might take 32 seconds to open up, say, Microsoft Excel or Microsoft Word. But for these drives, it might take a second and a half. Now, there are many, many different levels of drives, too, as I came to find out. Uh, the 850 Samsung Pro series, it's basically a top-of-the-line drive you can get right now. And the price kind of reflects it. It was a bit more, but, you know, for my primary hard drive and my laptop, I figured it was worth it. It's just a warranty card right here. Um, 850 Pro, they use VNN technology. I'm not sure exactly what that means. There was a huge write-up on it on multiple different websites you can look up online to see for yourself. But there was a long-term test of the 850 Pro series, which is right the predecessor to the 850 Pro. And it could write something like 700 to 1200 terabytes of um, information, which when I did the research online, they say each drive for a regular user should really only use two to three terabytes per year. Uh, it does come with a 10 year warranty on this thing. So, I mean, I don't know, I feel like most of the time, does anyone even use a computer for 10 years or keep a drive for that long? I don't know. Uh, you can pretty much think of it as a lifetime warranty. In any case, I can't wait to put this thing in. It looks really sleek in my hand. It's really thin. Uh, it's really light, actually, too. It feels very solid. Okay, this is the enclosure itself. Um, oh, by the way, all these I will have links below in the video description on how you can get them on Amazon yourself if you want. Uh, there's lots of different enclosures. This one seems like it works. And again, you only really need this for the transfer process. You don't really truly need it. Although, like I said, you can put your original hard drive in it and run it as external hard drive if you want. In my case, I can't, so this just works for me right now. Make sure you get a USB 3.0 drive or else your transfer speed should be a lot slower for the backup process. Open this up. It's pretty bare bones. You have the closure itself. Uh, it's a nice plastic case. And then you have the cable. A uh, bunch of paper which you, I don't really need. Toss that aside. Alright, this is basic USB cable. I don't really need this one. I'll use the existing one that I have so I don't have to open this one up. The drive itself. It's easy. Your PC. See, just slides right off. And this piece of foam I will put in for now to just stabilize it. When you mount it in the enclosure, be very careful. These stupid things are very fragile and you don't want to damage these. If you damage these, you're out 400 bucks on a drive. So take your time with it. You want to mash these little two teeth up right here with the drive itself. Just really be careful doing it and put it in just slowly kind of you see that lock up there just gently push it in and that's really it and then just close the enclosure like this it slides right back on all right you should be good to go here 
So let's move on to the backup process on a laptop. Okay, once you have the drive connected and the data migration software up, just hit start. And then as you can see, um, I have a one terabyte drive right now, the hybrid in the laptop that I came with. And then I have the target disk, the SSD. Pretty simple process, it tells you what you have and what the new drive is going to be and how much space is going to take up. And then just all I do now is hit start. Warning, when cloning starts, all data target disk will be deleted and cannot be recovered. Also, files on a source disk that are open cannot be cloned. Please close all running files before cloning. Would you like to start cloning? So make sure you turn everything off. All right, and start, yes. And let's see how long this is going to take. All right, as you can see right here, it looks like it's going to take a while. Um, you know, I thought it would be much faster, but looks like I'm going to go take a shower or go eat some dinner or something. Any case, I'll be back. Okay, finally done. At this point, you just close out of the software and then it'll ask you to shut down, which is what you would do and you just go ahead. All right, so let me keep track of uh, what my hard drive is like before and after. This is what my hard drive is like when I ran a test on userbenchmark.com. There were a lot of different ways to measure your hard drive performance, but a lot of them required that you downloaded something or you registered with them or you installed something. You did have to download some uh, program for userbenchmark.com, but it seemed a lot less invasive and a lot less intrusive than a lot of the other ones online, so that's one I went with. Anyway, so this is what it shows right now, my Western Digital one gig, I'm sorry, one terabyte drive of an eight gig solid state drive. This is a, what I call a hybrid drive, and then this is what they say my uh, read and write speed is, but it really doesn't seem like that's the case. At least the accessing the read part is very slow, much slower than what I originally have with this drive when I first got it. Okay, so what you're going to do is shut off your computer completely, unplug everything you have, take your laptop, flip it over, and put it on something. I'm going to put it on my um, bag here so it doesn't get scratched on the other side. Okay, place it on top. And now you're going to carefully remove all the screws from your laptop. It should be relatively the same this operation with uh, all laptops that you have. So get the right tool and start removing the screws. All right, before you go on to the next step, make sure that you're completely discharged. That means don't be in any cold rooms, don't rub any balloons, don't wear any sweaters. Make sure you're completely discharged of any uh, electrical charges in your body, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna fuck your laptop up and you're gonna have a really bad day. Now, once the screws are off, you can just lift it up gently, gently. And the cover should come off like this. Okay, right here for the hard drive itself, you gotta be careful when you take this off. You gotta undo these screws right here. Okay, now right here, you wanna be really careful when pulling out the hard drive. Lift this up at a 45 degree angle. Be careful not to rip this out. This connection right here too, because otherwise you're gonna have to repair a new part if you can or even order it and you're gonna be out of a laptop for weeks. Now just carefully lift this entire bracket up, okay? Carefully pull this, slowly, gently, gently, there you go. All right, and it's off. Now you wanna remove this bracket, this bracket right here. You're gonna need this for a new drive that you're putting in, all right? So take these screws off right here. All right, once you remove all the screws from the hard drive itself and off the bracket, 
place the screws aside, keep this, you need this bracket. Take your old drive, place that aside. Take your old drive, carefully remove it from the enclosure that you put it in earlier. Okay, place the enclosure aside. Take your new drive and you're just gonna slide it right in that enclosure, like so. And you're gonna put the screws back on this. Again, be very careful and make sure you're static free the whole time. All right, once these screws are in, do a test fit. Let's see if it actually goes in before I actually put it in. All right, looks good. I'm going to plug the cable back in. Again, do this very carefully. Place this back. All right, once everything is hand tightened, and make sure you do not over hand tighten your drive, okay? And all the screws in there. When everything's done, replace the cover carefully. Okay, now everything's plugged back in. Open it up. Let's switch it on. Okay, it's loading. Okay, let's run a user benchmark, see what results we get. All right, so let's go, scroll down to the hard drive. Okay. All right, as you can see here, the new drive has been installed. It's a bit quicker, uh, which makes you think there's something a bit different. Performing below expectations, 25th percentile. Hmm. Okay, here are my speeds for read, write. As you can see, it's a lot faster than before. Quite an improvement. 90.8% outstanding. 
All right, well, there you have it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, like, subscribe, comment. Let's see. If you like these videos, please let me know. Wow, that was quick. Wow. That's pretty fast for opening up a video. Let's see how long it takes to open up. Um, let's see, a video, audio file. Pretty damn good. All right guys, there you have it. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. This is Travels of the Cat reminding you to make sure you have a static free hand when you're working on your computer.